Hey guys, welcome back to Chrome Zen I'm back. Um, this video has been filmed at the same time as the video from last week. Uh, so, but um, it'll be uploaded next week, so I'll do a tank up, um, update next weekend. Because at the moment, nothing's changed um, from the last video. But, um, but in about 10 minutes, whenever I get to the end of the video, I'll, I'll do an update on the tank. Um, but in this video, I'm going to be building a um, chatter reactor. Um, and how I'm going to do is, I've got this aqua cell reactor which has been running in my um, tank for um, with nothing in it for a week um, now. Um, now I'm going to wrap it with the LEDs and I'm not going to film me doing any of this because I don't have like a tripod or anything for my camera um, which is a bit of a pain because I can't film anything um, when I'm doing it. But what, what are we doing is I'll get the um, LEDs and these LEDs, um, what they are is they are grow, they grow spectrum LEDs off eBay. You search up like growth spectrum LEDs, and then um, every four red LEDs to every one um, blue LED. I think I got these for twelve Australian dollars, and then I also uh, had to buy an adapter because it didn't come with an adapter. Um, and so what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap it all um, around this reactor uh, from the bottom to the top and you want to leave about half an inch to an inch gap um, between like, uh, every um, time you come around um, and so I'll go into wrapping the LEDs around um, also um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip tie the bottom of this um, down to there like uh, along here and then I might do zip tie in the middle and then one at the top I'll see how it goes. Um, so I'll get into doing that and then I'll be back once I've got it um, all wrapped around. So I finished wrapping them around these all uh, five meters of the LEDs. And um, what I did at the top here is I um, put the part that uh, connects to the power adapter. Power tick is the light. Put the part that connects to the uh, power adapter uh, there um, and zip tied it to the top and then I zip tied the bottom there as well um, it's really bright uh, and this um, I'm going to use this timer as well just because I'm going to run it um, when the lights turn off to when they turn on about 10 hours I think um, so I run it at night time because um, the reason I'm going to run it at night time is that um, it counteracts the um, the pH swing at night time because um, at, at night time the pH drops um, and if this is using up the chatter is up the carbon dioxide for photosynthesis at night time it will counteract the pH swing. Um, and I'll probably, I'll probably end up getting chatter for it next week, because the, the guy that I got, um, the Green Star Pilot from, camera's a bit wacky now, because <laughs> his is the reactor, but, um, the guy that the Green Star Pilot's from, he's got two tanks and he's running chatter reactors on them, and he said that if I ever need some chatter, um, I was more than happy to give me some. Um, you can see there, so you can see the uh, red and blue. The, the blues are perfectly lined up in like a diagonal line down the side of it. It's hard to see. It's so bright, but oh, let's see if I can get it. There, there you can see it's like a diagonal, diagonal around the whole thing, like a candy cane, like a barber's pole, or whatever that. Um, but so I'll message that guy, see if uh, he's got any chat that needs to get rid of. Um, and then I'll make a video whenever I get, uh, I'll, I'll continue the video, I'm not, I'm not gonna make a new video for the chat but I'll continue the video um, when, when I get the chat and put in the reactor. And I'm still gonna shorten these pipes here as well, but I won't bother showing you that, because everyone knows how to shorten pipes, just cut the pipe. Um, but yeah, I'll, 
I'll see you whenever I put Chato in. So this got me back with the Chato in um, the bag. Um, it's the weekend after. Um, this is the weekend after the last video I shot. So here we go. This video will be going up tomorrow. Um, which I'll, put, I'll do. I'll do the update on the um, tank tomorrow because I'll do a water change then and clean the glass and all. And I'm uh, probably getting some um, Pustlepora as well. Um, maybe a couple other corals. But let's get the lid up here. I'm gonna put the camera down for this because of, I cut the line for this um, pipe a bit too short, so I can't bring it out here and take it off. So I'm gonna have to like maneuver it out. Um, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll just place the shadow around this bottom disc here, um, like around the outside around there, um, and then I turn the lights on and the timer, I still haven't gone to get a new timer, um, so what I'm doing, uh, I'll, I'll get on tomorrow, but what I'll do is just turn it on um, and leave it on for the night and then tomorrow I'll get a new timer before I set that up and then it'll be, um, be off for the day. Um, so I'll get to take in this lid off and chuck the chato in there. So I've got the uh, chato in there. Um, still got the lid on properly, I'll do it in a second. But um, what I'm going to do with this water, it's a bit dirty but I'm going to add it to the sump because it has quite a bit of um, cod pods and amphipods in it. Probably not going to see any of them. Um, but, it, but when I was looking closely on the way back home, uh, I saw some amphipods and copepods. I'll just tip that into the tank. Um, there's quite a bit of... Oh, I'll just tip it into the director. Oh, I'll, I'll put the camera out for it because I don't want to spill it all over the lights and maybe a bit on the power board. Um, so let's chuck that in there. And I'll show you it when the light's turned on. You got in there the lights on, and yes, still really, really bright. Um, hopefully, the lights are able to grow the uh, chato. But I don't see why not because I have to like keep telling the camera to focus on that. It's that bright, so um, otherwise it just looks like this. Um, but I reckon yeah, that's it for the chato reactor build. Um, I'll be doing an update on the display tank in um, in a uh, tomorrow, um, which which will be like a minute in the video from now. But I'll be getting hopefully some new corals, no new fish. Uh, I need to hold myself back. I've seen a few that are really tempting, but I said I'm not allowed to buy anything for like two to three weeks, so. I'll wait out the time and then I'll um, get an, another fish if I see one I like. Um, yeah, so that's it for the shadow thing. See you in like a couple of seconds tomorrow when I'm getting a new car. The uh, next day now, uh, I've got some corals. I got a um, uh, green, it's like granny based green polyps. Um, Stylopora or Stylopora or something. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Um, and this, it looks green here, but um, under the blue light, it's, um, it's like light, light greeny blue trachophilia from um, my local fish store, Vivas Aquariums. Um, so I'll get them to, I was chucking this, so I'll chuck them in. Main tank. It's not. There's no room in the sump anymore. Um, for the uh, float the bags in because um, because of the pump for the reactants, all the tubes going everywhere. See if you can see the colours a bit better. No, can't really see the colours. Um, I'll just come back for 15 minutes once I start temperature, and then I'll start dipping them. It is a bit loud at the moment because of the skimmer and return pump. You know, running the water's and something's running a bit low because I took some more out of the tank to um, make up the dip. 
But, um, I've got the two corals here at the moment. You can kind of see the colours of this, um, Chucky better. Um, but it's, it's more blue when it's under the um, blue lights as well. Um, and yeah, with, with this, um, style of aura, it's, I think, got a little bit of bleaching or tissue damage at the top. But, um, I decided to get it anyway because it's $15, I think. And this uh, tracky was $14 as well. So they're both really good deals. Um, yeah, so I'll come back once I finish the dip. Um, and I'll tell you if I found anything in the. They come off the corals. The corals finished dipping and I've moved them from the dip bucket into the um, uh, rinsing bucket. I just got it there for the moment. Because I realised I've run out of coral glue. Uh, which I don't use coral glue, I just use the super glue, the cyanocrylite thingy in it. Because um, that's reef safe. And it sets pretty quickly. Um, but I've realised I'm out of super glue. I think I, the track of is not a big problem. Let's put it on the sand bread. But with the stylo, um, I put it on the sand bread for the moment and then I move it probably right there. Um, then I might move the uh, cactus car, I think it's called Pavona. Move that uh, probably over here somewhere because at, um, at night time. Has pretty long sweeper tentacles, about five centimeters long, um, so it stinks up near it. Uh, and if I put it over here, it's got. I'll probably put it there, and then there's room to put something up there and something over here. So I put probably put it there. Um, but yeah, I'll put that on the sand bed, and I'll, I'll show what they look like with like the colours and stuff in the tank, and then I'll go get some super glue for it. So at the moment the plastic lens thingy, the plastic square, the orange plastic square thing, um, I've got that on my phone with a lucky band at the moment, because before I used to hold it on, um, and it used to make a really loud noise whenever I did the slightest movement. Um, so I've got it held on with that. And I, I moved this track filler here, the original green one. Uh, I stood that back up. It kept getting knocked over. But I stood that back up to get, uh, moved a bit across so there's room for the new one and the new one looks really 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 nice it's like a um, I don't know what colour super neon blue even more than that one um, and then the fossil pour, I've got it down here in the sand um, and you can see like the top part is a bit bleached but around the bottom it's looking alright so hopefully that um, it does alright because um, I, I, I knew that it was a bit place when I bought it I just decided to give it a shot because it was only $15 so I got that and given it a shot and I stick it up onto the top here um, but yeah hopefully that does well this far this track of Philly is so bright uh, but I'll, I'll come back once I've got the coral blue and I've got the, the possible pour, no, it's not possible pour, the other one, the one starts with the S, something a pour. Um, I'll come back once I've got that stuck at the top. The coral I got is this extra thick octo grip coral glue from my local fish store, um, Vivas. Um, next time I reckon I'm going to get this, the regular oct um, octo grip because it's a bit too thick, it's a bit hard to get out of the bottle um, but it is what it says, extra thick glue um, but yeah, so I got the uh, Styla 4 I think it's, I don't know if it's Styla 4 or Styla 4 if you know what it is, um, like if it's PH or just P can you write down in the comments because um, I'm a bit confused what it is um, and then I also got the uh, Provona or the cactus coral um, glued there and the um, tank's a bit hazy because it's pretty humid here at the moment so the glass is getting like uh, a bit steamy um, there's a big white patch here now where that was but um, yeah, also with this the polyps of it you can see they're already opening up they're already coming out um, Though it was fully out and it was down here, um, it only took like half an hour to come out. 
uh, but and then down here this trackie it just looks amazing it's neon like blue it's, you can't, the colors in the camera are like nowhere even near how bright it is about five times as bright um in about in real life it's five times brighter um there is on the video and there's like little purple streaks in it and little bits of like like on this it's got the yellow lines around the edge it's got white lines it looks really nice um oh it has this this one to pour here has um see there it's starting to play it off and this the chalice starting to encrust there and all along here um this the green star polyps hasn't really done anything special um all the zoas but some of them are a little bit pissed off still from when i was putting this in um but yeah all the zoas are doing well these ones are slowly starting to open um but yeah they're open at least these ones here that they're oops, still zoomed in these ones here they're they're um they're probably my favorite ones i don't know why i just really like the pattern on them uh the blaster um as well it has been it when, when i got it it had some little heads on the side but the little heads on the side were tiny and now the little heads are uh, they've about got 10 times bigger than before i think there's only two that might be no, no, I don't think there's one around the other side. Yep, need to zoom out. Yeah, I don't think there's one around the other side. Um, and this library down here is doing well. The A cans are doing pretty well. This one is my uh, starting to recover. Cause when I got it, it, had a bit of damage along um, there. Had a bit of damage. I'll try. I'll do it again. Can't really see because I moved the camera away. Around that part there. At the top of my finger that there was a bit of damage. Um yeah the library's doing well, the A cans are doing well. The torch don't have to zoom out again. <laughs> the torches and hammers are doing pretty well. The Duncan is doing well, it's massive, it's about oh worth something for comparison. I don't know. Probably about twenty centimetres from the bottom there up to the top and about 15 centimeters wide so it's pretty big um this torch here has made a really good recovery uh also with the this montipora i don't know i don't know what's happening because i've checked for um montipora in new banks at night time multiple times to see if i just missed them one night but um didn't find any in any any of the checks um, and up here it's got another little dot that's appearing that's weird because dots will appear other ones will disappear and it, it doesn't really spread it just like appears in that end and then on this at the rock it's encrusting on to the glue it's encrusting over the glue so I'm a bit confused what's happening with that one uh, the fish they're doing really well um, the hawkfish is is a uh, it isn't hidden once since I've got him. Uh, maybe for the first ten minutes, then he was already out swimming around. Um, fairy grass is doing pretty well as well. And the goby oh, is coming out. He's usually hiding in his cave. He's scared all the time. He's starting to even like dig around. You see around there, and up there. He's starting to dig under there. I don't know if it's something to do or just when it darts in when it's scared it knocks the sand around. Um Oh and also the, the snails here that I thought were dead. There's one there. Uh, I thought one of the rashes might have eaten them. And one right here. They're not dead. Oh there's also a snail shed there but I will put that into the tank. Um it turns out they're not dead because they've moved around. Um But yeah this snail shell here and I said put one in down there, yeah, I'd see it, but they are from um, 
my old tank when it crashed all the snails died so I added some snail shells in here to see if the hermit crabs would be interested but they haven't been interested but yes yeah, it's, it's good that those snails have gotten up and moved out of the way um uh what else is there I think, I think that's it for the update oh Oh, there's really nothing to talk about in the sun. So, um, with this, the skimmer, can't really see it with one. Um, I think I want a torch around here somewhere. Don't it? Definitely. But, um, but yeah, it's been, it's been skimming, but it hasn't gotten very much, um, out the actual tank. I'll, I'll just stop the video, I'll, I'll come back with the torch. So at the moment there's no, there's no water up in, there's no bubbles up in there just because the water level of the sump's low. When I was taking the water out to do the uh, dipping for the corals, but I'm going to do a water change so I can rise it back up. Um, but it's been skimming out. Let's see if there's any in there, any skimmer in there. It's about that colour. So dark green, dark green and murky. But it's only got now about half a centimetre worth of skim mate in there over the whole week. Which isn't very much. I'm pretty sure that's not very much. Um, I don't know how my nutrients are doing in the tank. I should get them re uh, retested. But um, that's how the skim is doing. Um, yeah, there's nothing really else to talk about with this tank. Slotting this, see if I can slide this in. It's going to be pretty loud. I slide this in. Yeah, worked pretty well. That lucky bounty on. Um, yeah, so that's it for the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next week when I don't know I might have some more cars. I don't know what I'm going to do next week, but I'll see you then.